Until recently, there's been no information on the whereabouts or condition of Burkina Faso's ousted president. But on Monday, Rock Kabore had visitors, representatives from the West African bloc, ECOWAS. The head of the delegation, former Ghanaian Foreign Minister Shirley Ayakor Botre, said Kabore has access to doctors and is allowed visits from his family. Um, on the surface, I mean, we've had a good conversation with him and um, he's in good health and he was able to have a good conversation with us and um, he, we will send that back to the heads of state. The delegation also met with Burkina Faso's new leader, Lieutenant Colonel Paul-Henri Sandeogo de Miba. Last week, ECOWAS suspended Burkina Faso from its governing bodies over the January 24th military coup. On Monday, the African Union followed suit. Suspension from all the body's activities until, quote, the effective restoration of constitutional order. In Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou, some, like Mamadi Sanfo, responded that they don't care about the AU. We condemn the African Union. It is the union of evil. They work for the whites, not for us. They work for their own interests. The African Union and ECOWAS suspended two other members, Mali and Guinea, over their own military takeovers last year. But while regional leaders and their allies have condemned Burkina Faso's coup, they also find themselves with limited leverage. ECOWAS has stopped short of imposing sanctions, despite concerns of instability in a country already beset by militant violence. Ayako Botre said ECOWAS would work with the new administration to tackle the menace of terrorism.